Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna check out what happened at the California Pro 2021 as I managed to find some pretty high quality footage. There was no live stream, so it was very hard to actually see what really happened at this show, but now we can see it in this video. So first we're gonna check out what Patrick Moore actually looked like at this show. Just like he was in 2019, he is again in 2021 the champion of California State. So, here we're gonna check out what he looks like, and I wanted to say I'm sorry guys for not being fast with the upload, but I'm sure you would forgive me if I told you that I was actually with my girlfriend who was competing in bikini, so I had to go with her, but there was no live stream, there was no really high quality footage, so I'm actually kind of glad that I made this video day after, because now we can actually see what happened right here. So, Patrick Moore. The biggest question here is, did he really make progress from last year, from 2020? Last year he was in this condition as he was at the Mr. Olympia 2019, and he wasn't exactly much bigger from that year as well, but now that he actually had a full year for to have an off-season to actually grow, he did grow, he did grow. He didn't grow like crazy, and he was kind of dwarfed, again, by the other guys in the top four, like Mohamed Shaban, Hassan Mustafa, Mohamed uh, El Amam. But he absolutely out-conditioned them all and out aesthetic them, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But he definitely does have some crazy aesthetics, crazy genetics. He has really small waist, really small joints, and he did grow some muscle. You can see that he definitely gained some tissue in the back, especially. Lower lats <laughs> looking great, and that's not something you see very often. Very rarely bodybuilders actually have do developed lower lats like this. Yeah. His glutes and overall conditioning to the hamstrings, I think he was sharper in 2019, but he was bigger this year and the judges uh, definitely awarded that. You can see the back lat spread as well, much better. So he definitely gained a lot of mass in the back. And this, this pose, this is a killer pose, god, it looks so good. We did not see anything close to these aesthetics at the New York Pro. I mean, the winner of the New York Pro was Nick Walker, and he was way bigger and even more conditioned, he had crazy details, he was an amazing winner. I mean, the quality of that New York Pro, the winner, is much higher, for sure, you gotta, you gotta admit that, I mean, it's true, it's bodybuilding, but I, I gotta say, we didn't see aesthetics like this, not even close. I mean, this side tricep, I think it's the best pose for Patrick Moore, he does have a lot of strong poses now, when he improved, when he actually gained some muscle, especially through the back, but this side tricep, it was always his best, uh, best pose, if you ask me, and it still is, with this crazy small waist, with these uh, uh, really symmetrical and well-shaped abs and chest separated like this, arms flowing so well, I mean, the calves, the, the, the thighs, everything, just looks phenomenal, man, it just looks great. So, I think this pose really made him look absolutely amazing. Overall, he was a little bit smaller. He was definitely on the smaller side, but he was big enough, apparently, to win this show. And a vacuum here, look at the vacuum, that was good. So, this guy is definitely a representation of classic in bodybuilding. It is mass with class, as you call it. I would definitely like to see more outer sweep on the quads, but that's kind of genetic, and he probably can't change that ever. So, Patrick Moore improved for sure. Hassan Mustafa, I had this guy winning the show. I thought he was third at the New York Pro, he beat everybody except for the two guys who are not competing at the California Pro. I thought he was way bigger than Patrick, as he is, and I thought he would tighten up the, the, the conditioning, I thought he would be sharper, much sharper than he was at the New York Pro, but I should have known, based on the videos and the photos that he was posting coming to this California Pro, that he won't really be conditioned. Now we can see, did he improve conditioning from New York Pro? Maybe a tiny bit, maybe a little bit, but still those glutes are not dialed in, nor are the hamstrings. Better? Yeah, not good enough? No. And he is known for not being conditioned enough, usually. Look at the back, he has a pretty good back. Narrow, upstairs, yeah, he doesn't really have the width, but he does have a lot of thickness. And in the back lat spread, he doesn't even look narrow, he does look pretty wide. So overall, I mean, Hassan is a great bodybuilder, he has so much potential, he is the freakiest guy on this stage, he definitely was. He just needs to figure it out with conditioning. I don't think he has the same issue as Big Ramy used to have. I think Big Remy would get really conditioned, really ripped, but he just didn't really have those deep striations, deep cuts. And 2020 he was really conditioned, like conditioned like crazy. And that's when he looked 
uh, conditioned enough. Still wasn't super shredded, but that's the best that Big Ryan can probably get. And Hassan, I think he's just a little bit fat, really. I just think he can lose more fat, diet a little bit more, and that's it. He did say he's not gonna stop until he qualifies for the Mr. Olympia, so hopefully we'll actually see him shredded finally. Mohamed Shaban right here, the biggest surprise of his show. I mean, I kind of had him in the, in the top six, but I didn't expect him to be this big, to look this freaking massive. And he took second, very deservedly. Especially his legs, absolutely massive, and he was more conditioned than Hassan, for example. But he didn't really have the level of detail that Patrick had. And he was conditioned, look at the glutes right here. You can see a lot of illustration, uh, and he does look very dry through the glutes and through the back as well. So he did bring the conditioning. But he just doesn't really have the deep, the deep strations and the details that Patrick Moore has. But I gotta say, he did bring it, and he came bigger than the last time you saw him. And I can say this guy has potential. And wow, the back was ripped. And it was really wide. And he did have a lot of size in the legs. So he did bring that freak factor that Egyptians tend to bring. So we have Mr. Olympia, Big Ramy, being Egyptian. And I think Hassan also and Mohammed here are Egyptian. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. And also you had uh, Nasser El Sambari, who was also Egyptian, but his mother was from Yugoslavia or for Serbia, where I'm actually from. And so he was representing Yugoslavia, but I think his father was Egyptian. So a lot of freaks from Egypt. And it seems like they are all stuffing their legs with some kind of oil <laughs> or something. They all have this kind of oily, bubbly kind of quads, just freaky looking quads. So you tell me what's going on with that, but whatever it is, his legs are looking freaking crazy, just like those of Hassan and also Big Ramy. So I guess Egyptians have crazy genetics for legs, or they all like to put Sintel in it. And here you can see Hassan in his front double bicep, not very good, no weed taper, stomach was extended, so he was definitely way out of this top four, top two actually. He was not in consideration to beat these two guys, so this was uh, the top two of front double bicep and I don't know for some reason Patrick was kind of tilting his body to one side his right nipple is above his left one and I don't know this is just a symmetry but I don't think it was the case before I think he was just tilting for some reason maybe he had, maybe he thought it was more aesthetic but it definitely wasn't I would prefer to see symmetry and uh, you can see how much Muhammad Shaban killed him in the legs department but he didn't really have the detail that Patrick had upstairs in the front lat spread, again, Hassan showcased poor conditioning. It's only his structure and his genetic shape that actually gave him that third spot against Mohamed El Amam, who was definitely more conditioned, but he just doesn't really have that kind of structure that is required to be a top pro. I mean, yeah, he's a top pro nowadays, you can say that, but Hassan just has much more superior structure. Side chest, again, Patrick is showing a lot of detail. And this is what we can see on this video, that is actually pretty good, but it's a different story. Uh, live? And not just live, but from the judges' seats. It's a, it's a whole different ball game. And now you can see the details in the back that Patrick actually had. Patrick really brought the good level of conditioning details, and that's why he won this show. And also aesthetics. I'm sure it was counted for at least a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really hurt to have that. It's not the most important factor in bodybuilding, for sure, but I'm sure it helps. Back lat spread, a pose that Patrick improved a lot. All the back poses, really, he was really improved from the back. He definitely gained a lot of thickness through the lower lats. And now this pose. Look at this pose. Look at how much is he killing all of these freaking guys. Look at this. Against Muhammad Shaban, he absolutely annihilated him in this one. I mean, side tricep, not front tricep, not front legs and chest or whatever. Patrick is doing it the right way, he's showing the triceps that are actually looking perfect and this, this small waist and everything, just like I said in the beginning of the video really, really good side tricep and these guys just can't even do it a lot of distension from Hassan and Mohamed El Mam. look at Hassan now when he does this transition, <laughs> not very nice no, no, not very aesthetic and Patrick, he's killing it uh, Mohamed Shaban is showing a lot of, a lot of lag mass though and in the, in the most muscular, I would go with Mohamed Shaban. So I think it was kind of close. I wouldn't be sure who to pick in this show. But because of the details, especially through the chest. like You can see so much separation uh, on, on Patrick. And also the same thing with uh, their backs. 
like uh, Muhammad Shaban brought conditioning. He was ripped, he was dry, but he didn't have those details. And I'm sure that's something the judges saw from the first row, from the judges' row. That is something you can kind of see on the video, but I'm sure you can see it much, much better live. And you can see through the delts and the arms that most likely, and also upper chest, and I think the quads as well. I think it's pretty, pretty obvious that Muhammad Shaban stuffed everything with a bunch of oil. I think he used a lot of sight enhancement because there is basically no detail whatsoever. Or he just used a lot of gear through, through his body parts. Whatever is the reason, he didn't have the details and that's why he lost to Patrick who showcased a lot of detail. And I think he deserved this victory. Again, compared to New York Pro winner, not even close. This is bodybuilding, not classic physique. So aesthetics don't really matter too much in bodybuilding, but detail and conditioning is definitely a big factor, but uh, Nick Walker had that, plus a lot more mass. Patrick Moore looks like a classic guy next to, next to Nick, absolutely. We can see that, we will see that at the Mr. Olympia this year, because Patrick Moore qualified. So, whatever you guys think about Patrick Moore, did he make progress from last year, and did he deserve to win this California Pro, and how will he do at the Mr. Olympia? Tell me down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video, like it, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. All the best and bye-bye.